Hi, my name's Simon and welcome to another video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips of using OBS if you're teaching online using Skype or Zoom. In this particular video, I'm going to say something which is probably obvious, but I just want to highlight how important it is, and that is using two monitors to do your online teaching, because using two monitors makes your life a lot easier in a number of different ways. The first way is quite obviously you don't see or the student doesn't see OBS because you do this you do get this rather interesting infinity view but it does get in the way of your students and it can distract them. One of the number one maxims of working with students is don't give them things that will distract them uh, if you want them to focus on something in particular. So letting the students see this will distract them and take away from the direction that you want to go in your class. So what you would do if you've got one monitor is that you would cover this up by using Word or by using something else. But this has a number of disadvantages. First of all, you can't see OBS yourself because you've just covered it up. Now, this, seeing OBS is really important because if you see OBS, you are seeing what the student can see. So that means you know if you've put material which is off the edge. So if you're talking about something that the student can't see, if you can have a look at the OBS screen, then you can see this and you can make the necessary adjustments. So having an eye on OBS is really, really useful. And of course, if you've got a second monitor, then you can do that. So let me just put OBS back on my second monitor so I can see what you guys can see. The other advantage of having a second monitor is that you can use that second monitor as a holding space. So you can bring in lots of different resources, whether it's web pages, you can bring in other things as well, such as PDFs, you can shove them off to the side, you can bring in images, you can bring in whatever you like. And you can also use this as a way to manage what, the, uh, what your learner can see. As I said, if you want to focus on one thing, get everything else off the screen and just have that one thing so your student can focus on it. Now, in my setup, I actually use three monitors because three monitors uh, might seem a little bit excessive and you probably is, but on the third monitor, I have got OBS and I've got Skype. So I can see what the student can see and I can see the student next to each other. On the second monitor, I've got all of my resources. So I can drag and drop as I want to. And then on the main display, as you can see now, uh, let's say, as you can see now, I can create my virtual whiteboard. So for example, if I do that right now, now I can, we've got a completely white screen, student can't see anything. If I'm making any changes to Word, whatever it might be, then the student can't see that either. So using for, for me, using three monitors is really advantageous. I could just use two, would be absolutely fine. But if you've got the possibility to use a little bit of extra tech, then that's good. And my third monitor is just a rubbish old monitor that I have that I've had kicking around the garage for many, many years. So it's just there attached and it serves a purpose. So this video was all about why using two monitors is really, really good. If you've got a laptop, then it is possible to use an Android or an uh, Android, to use a tablet or to connect a second monitor up somehow. So it's not the end of the world if you're just doing this on the laptop. Once again, with all of these things, you uh, be inventive, think of different solutions. It's even possible to use a mobile phone as a second uh, display. So there are plenty of solutions out there. You don't have to dig deep in order to uh, do what you have to do. Just use your gray matter and you'll be able to think of a solution as well. Okay, so uh, if you've got any questions about using two monitors, leave them below. If you've got any other questions about uh, OBS and how you might use that for teaching online, leave a comment below and I'll try to produce content for you.